Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, this broadcast is not meant to fear monger. This broadcast is not meant to depress people. But this broadcast makes it incumbent upon me as a news person, as a journalist, to bring out to you, ladies and gentlemen, the challenges that we are facing, the steps that we are taking and we need to take to fight this corona battle. But reflecting reality cannot be held against us as journalists. Reality is something that will have to be looked at in the eye even if it does begin to bother us, worry us and create some, some amount uh, of uh, questions in our mind on which way are we headed in this crisis we are facing as a country with the second wave of COVID-19. There is no doubt that India is in the middle of not just a COVID crisis, but a huge oxygen crisis. Oxygen wars have broken out between several states, between the states and the center. And even as we speak, the Delhi High Court is now looking at this entire issue threadbare. In fact, the Delhi High Court has to give an order and it has taken a half an hour recess to begin hearing this matter of oxygen supplies to Max Hospital in Delhi uh, because it has summoned the industries and the health secretaries to court to give them a sense of what is happening about oxygen supplies. We can't deny that while the center is trying its best, the fact is that we are in a terrible situation. Have we woken up late? Has our logistics not been woke, uh, made and finalized in time? Is production a problem or is supply a problem? Is demand a problem? Or the fact that we just don't have enough vehicles to transport this oxygen from production centers to the hospitals that is crippling healthcare across several states. In fact, across India, we've been getting distressing visuals, lack of oxygen snuffing out lives, snuffing out young and old lives almost uh, at, at a level that it is becoming unbearable to see these visuals. While the Aam Admi suffers, of course, as far as governments, political parties are concerned, the blame game and the shrill rhetoric continues regardless. Now, let's take a look at what happened in Nashik today. This blame game peaked when a ghastly incident in Nashik uh, sent a chilling reminder to India. States that are ready to point their fingers at the center for lack of supply don't look within at the administration in their own backyard. And these are visuals that we are getting from Nashik where, uh, you know, supplies of oxygen were there. But when this supply was being put into the oxygen tanker, there was a leakage. And if we can just pull out those visuals, those visuals there, the leakage of oxygen leading to not one or two, 24 deaths, two dozen deaths. And these deaths clearly are a reminder that governments, the administrators are failing us. We are a country that pays taxes. We are a country that believes in democracy. We are a country who chooses our leaders. But what do taxpayers, what do citizens get in, get in return? This shoddy treatment and loss of lives. And this, ladies and gentlemen, where Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre pushes the blame to the center, doesn't realize that this is what victims are saying. A mother of a 23-year-old who says, I don't need your 5 lakh rupee compensation. I've lost a 23-year-old son. Listening to the victims and their families because they've lost a loved one. A pain, possibly, politicians tend to over. So, the doctor died. This is the accident. The doctor called us the तो भी डॉक्टर नहीं आ रहा, सिस्टर को बुलाते तो भी सिस्टर नहीं आ रही, सब भाग रहे, भाग रहे इधर उधर छुप गए, 
मांग मेरा लड़का देगी क्या लड़का ही दो मुझे धन दौलत मत दो धन दौलत की कोई गरज नहीं है मुझे मुझे होना बच्चा चौतीस साल का छोकरा वैसा ही दे दो हीरो जैसा पूरे हॉस्पिटल में ऑक्सीजन नहीं था जीरो ऑक्सीजन हॉस्पिटल में अवेलेबल था कल रात से ऑक्सीजन खत्म हो गया बाद में पंद्रह बीस मिनट के बाद ऑक्सीजन का जो टैंक वो लीक हो गया बाद में पूरा ऑक्सीजन पूरे हॉस्पिटल में जो ऑक्सीजन था नहीं था तीन चार तास जो तीन चार तास ऑक्सीजन नहीं मिला सब पेशेंट को आज जो पेशेंट गए ना सब ऑक्सीजन की कम तरह के तरह के वजह से गए This ugly politics must stop now. This chief minister is blaming the prime minister, blaming the central government. The central government uh, passing the buck to the states has to stop now. Everybody has to accept responsibility and do their jobs. The center has to make distribution of oxygen completely flawless because there is no margin of error in a human life that you are dealing with. And state governments have to take care of the health facilities of the kind of uh, standards that are being followed in hospitals. And this is the Zakir Hussain Municipal Hospital. And look at the blame game between political parties that goes on. Not one of them answerable to the lives that have been lost to them. अभी स्थिति ठीक है वहाँ के जो लोकल गार्डियन मिनिस्टर हैं वर्ल्ड वहाँ पर गए हैं और मैं और एफडीएम मिनिस्टर भी 22 का आंकड़ा बता रहे हैं क्या वो सही है बिल्कुल 22 का आंकड़ा है 11 पुरुष है 11 11 स्त्री जो एजेंसी को काम दिया था उसको भी निर्धारित महानगर पालिका ने किया था इन्हीं के भारतीय जनता पार्टी के प्रशासन में तो इसको भी जिम्मेदारी ये लोग ठहराना की कोशिश कर रहे हैं सरकार को बहुत ही अफसोस की बात है इसकी जिम्मेदारी लेना भारतीय जनता पार्टी की जिम्मेदारी है तो क्या ये भाग चुके हैं ये भी इसका भी जवाब भारतीय जनता पार्टी के नेताओं ने देना चाहिए निश्चित तौर पर कार्रवाई इसके ऊपर होनी चाहिए ठाकरे सरकार की बेजवाबदारी के कारण ये मृत्यु ने हत्या है बाईस मार्च को मैंने नासिक मेयर के साथ में यहाँ पर विजिट की थी म्यूनिसिपल कमिश्नर सिविल सर्जन को फोन किया था बाईस लोगों की हत्या के लिए तुरंत क्रिमिनल निगलिजेंस के अंतर्गत कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए एंड जस्ट अ फ्यू मिनट्स अगो द डेली हाई कोर्ट हैज नाउ ऑब्जर्व दैट हेल्थ विल ब्रेक लूज if something is not done and not done immediately in fact the delhi high court was surprised to find out that petroleum companies that steel companies continue to use uh, oxygen generated by themselves to keep production high and it is uh, the high court which has had to direct the government uh, well the order is still to come but they have observed saying that these uh, factories if it requires them to shut down they should shut down but oxygen should be given for use of hospitals which are choking and gasping for oxygen supplies also uh, the creation of special corridors for the transport of this oxygen do you know ladies and gentlemen what's happening there are states that are hijacking the oxygen supply that are meant for another state when the uh, trucks really pass through their own states their own geography that is the kind of war that we are seeing that is happening the oxygen wars delhi haryana involved in a face off haryana rajasthan il- involved in a face off over oxygen supplies and of course political blame game continues so ladies and gentlemen the legitimate question on the news are tonight is just one has politics left arm army gasping quite literally kya politics ki wajah se ab hame saans lene mein bhi mushkil hogi ye hai sawal this is the legitimate question and the debate coming up on the other side hashtag o2 india sos the debate coming up You're watching the news hour at 9. Debate number 1 on Times Now. Super Prime Time. And joining me tonight Dr. Shambhit Patra, 
spokesperson of the BJP, Ghansham Tiwari, spokesperson of the Samajwadi Party. I have with me uh, Jasmine Shah, uh, DDC chairman and spokesperson of the Amadmi Party, Riju Datta, spokesperson of the Trinamool Congress, Shehzad Punawala, lawyer and uh, Tehseen Poonawala, political analyst, and I must ask the first question to you, Dr. Patra. Why are we seeing what we are seeing? The supply clearly is not a problem. We have stocks of 50,000 tons of oxygen. Uh, we have a demand, at least on 12th of April, which was around 3,500 metric tons. Even if it's risen and doubled, it's about 7,000. And that is the production on a daily basis. Why are we seeing a situation where hospitals are choking, supplies are not available and people are losing their lives? In fact, there are tweets going out from uh, chief ministers of Delhi, health ministers yesterday, giving details of, you know, what are the kind of supplies that each hospital in the national capital has. Some have four hours, some have six hours, some have maximum 12 hours of oxygen supplies. Do you want the people of this country to die due to lack of oxygen or just out of sheer panic? What is the strategy, Dr. Patra? Yeah, first and foremost, I would not like anyone in this country to die either due to lack of oxygen nor because of sheer panic. And then, yes, while the government, in fact, yesterday the Prime Minister also addressed the nation and categorically said that the production of the oxygen has been increased. In fact, he also enumerated the steps that the government has taken to increase the oxygen production. Under 10 percentage oxygen production, green corridors and oxygen expresses to, in fact, deliver the oxygen to the destination through the Indian railways. In fact, 50,000 megatons of metric tons of oxygen being imported from foreign destinations. We have the PSA units, 162 of them, one PSA unit being installed in Delhi also, and a number of other measures are being taken. But of course, I would say that panic is the last thing that we want to happen. What happened in Nasik today was one of the most unfortunate incidents that humankind would ever see. I mean, people snuffing out of oxygen and dying. I mean, this is criminal negligence. But please, let's not spread panic the way, in fact. Yesterday, I was in Kejriwal With all due respect, I don't want to enter into a tutu manner. Four days ago, in fact, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal holds a press conference and categorically, you can from the archive, pull out the press conference of Mr. Kejriwal. He says that there's no dearth of oxygen, there's no dearth of any drugs, and people need not panic, everything is well and final under control. And suddenly yesterday, he puts out a tweet and says, we have oxygen only for two to four hours. My request to any leader, be it Mr. Kejriwal or anyone, if you are the chief minister, Please open up the lines with the center. Talk to them. And for God's sake, do not put out tweets saying that after two hours, we are going to run out of oxygen. While that was not the case, because Gangaram Hospital and other hospitals got the oxygen today. But there was a hell lot of panic yesterday. And as, in fact, political figures, as doctors, we all received frantic calls. Are patients going to die? There were people who were, in fact, running to all the hospitals. This, I believe, can be prevented. And one should not politicize issues as important and as human and sensitive as these. Well, uh, Mr. Jasmine Shah, I want to ask you, when there was uh, a problem in oxygen supplies, there were tweets going on. Uh, I don't know whether there were uh, uh, calls between the state government and the center, as Dr. Patra is saying that you should pick up the phone and speak to the center. I don't know whether that was done or not. What happened behind the walls, we have no idea. But the fact is, when the supplies came late at night and early this morning, there were no tweets saying that ab gaya hai, nothing to panic. You know, it's all very well to keep people, uh, you know, informed. But there's a very thin line between information and spreading panic. And I want to ask you, Jasmine Shah, you know, if, if fingers are pointed at the center for possibly uh, messing up the supply situation, not anticipating the increases in uh, 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 the demand situation, I want to ask you, isn't the onus also on the states to have some amount of predictability on what their uh, demand uh, from their own hospitals is going to be over the next three or four days? Why put all the blame on the center alone, Jasmine Shah? Navika, it is very easy 
in these debates to say political blame game chal raha hai everybody is finger pointing but harsh facts have to be brought out in front of the public because i am afraid to say today we are a country without any driver on the seat of a, of the national corona strategy why do i say that Five days back, when Mr. Arvind Kejriwal wrote to the Union Government saying that in lieu of the increasing Corona cases, our requirement has doubled from 350 to 700 metric tons. And why did we write to the centre? Because medical oxygen is a, a regulated commodity. It is the centre that is allocating quota to the different states. Now, forget about getting 700 metric tons. What has changed in the last three days? And Mr. Patra, let me tell you, as on today, as of last one hour. the owners of max hospital apollo hospital uh, uh, manipal hospital and saint stevens hospital all have put out tweets that abhi bhi keval 2 ya 3 ghante ka oxygen hai so please don't hide under uh, uh, under lies be ready to face the truth and the only reason that they have said that is in the last 3 days two of your state governments you know bjp state governments up and haryana have turned rogue let's put uh, the facts out navika this is not we are saying the the administration of this most respected hospital in the national capital they are not aligned to any party they have very clearly said manipal hospital owner what is he saying he is saying that the haryana government has put an is officer to regulate the truck movement outside the plant in faridabad so our quota now is going to be decided by an is officer in haryana rather than the quota decided by the center uh, apollo hospital and max hospital have said that the up plant has similarly been taken over by the up government under the orders of chief minister yogi adityanath so what are we supposed to do as delhi we have only requested the center that please play your role for the last 4 days and this has been happening for the last 3 days these two uh, biggest suppliers have turned rogue they have not turned rogue it is the two state governments that have turned rogue you heard the statement of the uh, health minister of haryana he said ki pehle haryana ka khayal rakhenge uske baad hum dekhenge are aapka oxygen nahi hai ye देश का ऑक्सीजन है ये सेंटर ने कोटा अलाइन किया है एंड दैट इज द रीजन नाविका जस्ट अ फ्यू मिनट्स बैक ऑनरेबल हाई कोर्ट प्लीज हियर मी आउट दिस इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ ऑनरेबल हाई कोर्ट वी आर शॉक्ड एंड डिसमेड दैट द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट डज नॉट सीम टू बी माइंडफुल टू द एक्सट्रीमली अर्जेंट नीड ऑफ मेडिकल ऑक्सीजन दे हैव रिक्वेस्टेड सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट टू डू इट्स ड्यूटी take over production of these uh, all these plants rather than leaving it to the state government and and ensure that dr patra and dr that's patra, all that we are saying dr patra respond respond to respond to jasmine shah's charges he says haryana and up have gone rogue they have taken control of their own uh, oxygen plants and supplies and therefore the center is ineffective Navika, I'm extremely. I'm not saying that, say. Navika. This is the hospitals, private hospitals, saying that in the letter which the media has. Just a second, so private hospitals would not be able to know whether the governments of any state would have taken over the oxygen uh, production plant. They have written, so, Mr. Patra. You may have not written this letter. These letters have been issued. I was not interjecting, sir. Ab pad lije pehle. Have your facts with you. Please, please allow me. It is not for the gov. It is not for the private hospitals to say. who in fact is the in charge of the production producing unit but they have put out they have put out a statement they have put out a statement dr patra it is it is on social media it is with every media house together we would not be heard i accept the responsibility don't run away from it when you say just because it's a bjp government why don't you pull up the chief ministers of haryana and uttar pradesh they are causing a national crisis i am agree party listen out to me first of all what did mr manish shishodi say Mr. Manish Sisodia said, "People from Uttar Pradesh and Haryana are founding Delhi, and we are facing problem because of the people of Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. Why does not Delhi belong to Haryana and Uttar Pradesh? What right? nonsense is this, this is Mr. Patra? This has Manish, not been said Manish, at all. Manish Sisodia, please Delhi don't manufacture yes, statements. Please, please answer. Please, please answer. Please, please answer. Why have your two states turned rogue? Other states people." And let me tell you, if Haryana can see, no such Medanta statement has been made. This no, is a complete Mr. lie. Mr. Shah, get it right. If Medanta can see people from Delhi, so what is Apollo in Mr. Delhi? Mr. Doctor Padra, you are known for making doctor statements. You are known to put in doctor videos. Well, well, there goes, there goes another argument. There goes another argument, and and let me, let me get in, let me get in, uh, Ganesham Tiwari, Ganesham Tiwari. you know uttar pradesh okay, patient should not come to delhi 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 ye ye aap puch lijiye na vaccine ka sara record to aapke paas hai main kaise puchu ye aap puch lijiye dr patra 
घनश्याम तिवारी जी मैं 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 पूछना चाहती हूं कि अगर अगर हम इस तरह से होगा कि यूपी का ट्रक आ रहा है उसे दिल्ली अगर पहुंचना है तो यूपी में पुलिस रोक लेगी अगर दिल्ली से होते हुए हरियाणा जा रहा है तो दिल्ली की पुलिस रोक लेगी हरियाणा से दिल्ली अगर आना है तो हरियाणा की पुलिस रोक लेगी देन फ्रेंकली स्टेट्स दैट हैव बीन आस्किंग फॉर पावर्स स्टेट्स दैट हैव बीन सेइंग दैट ओ हेल्थ इज अ स्टेट सब्जेक्ट लॉ एंड ऑर्डर इज अ स्टेट सब्जेक्ट यू नो ऑल ऑफ दैट इज कोलैप्सिंग इन द करेंट सिचुएशन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ सिचुएशन वेर देर विल बी एंड दैट इज वॉट द डेली हाईकोर्ट हेज सेड हेल्थ विल ब्रेक लूज ऑन द स्ट्रीट ऑफ दिस कंट्री डू वी वॉन्ट सच अ सिचुएशन कैन आर पॉलिटिशियंस कैन आर पोलिटिकल पार्टी इज नॉट सिट टूगेदर and find out a way to regulate and a way to participate and coordinate and work during a crisis or do we have to pay with lives of common people aam aadmi gareeb aadmi us kya yahi chalta rahega is desh mein we are talking about india at 75 aaj bhi hamari kya halat hai oxygen nahi hai log mar rahe hain said i want to to express my deepest condolences to every one of those Uh, patients in nasik and every one of those uh, across the country who who died when they did not had to they had to live and they died because somewhere we as a country have failed whether the state government has failed or national government has failed that's another matter but they have they are dead and i think every passing day as a country we have to pledge that no more people will die because we failed them in the face of this if you look at what is coming out after the prime minister has addressed one uh, meeting of all chief ministers after the prime minister's address to the nation yesterday you don't see the spirit of togetherness coming out and if the spirit of togetherness is not coming out you have to ask that who is in charge is prime minister building that spirit of uh, togetherness is the home minister uh, building that spirit of togetherness the home minister's uh, schedule today was rally one hamirpur at 12 noon rally two two gazol at 130 pm rally three durgapur purba at 345 pm If the home minister is is busy addressing silly petty rallies when people are dying on the streets cremations are being made at the pavements and at the roads and there are tokens available well, in every major city well well you, you can say that, that, that you can say that but the health the health minister is working round the clock the prime minister is, he, is working round the he, clock so working, i i don't know what you are saying no no i don't know what you are saying shahzad punawala shahzad punawala it's it's that, it's, that it's, will, it's will ensure that the chief ministers work together who is working yeah. with the chief minister yeah. navika ji you know yeah. every one of them you interview them you tell me two ministers in this government navika who's working who are working to coordinate with the chief ministers navika if i may i have certain substantive points to make and navika tonight आज सिर्फ ऑक्सीजन शॉर्ट सप्लाई में है पॉलिटिक्स शॉर्ट सप्लाई में नहीं है एंड मे बी इसके लिए ऑक्सीमीटर नहीं पर हमें हिपोक्रेसी मीटर की जरूरत पड़ेगी बीजेपी और केंद्र की सरकार को निश्चित रूप से कई सवालों के जवाब देने पड़ेंगे पर मैं आज सर, सारी सरकारों की जवाबदेही तय करना चाहता हूँ आज महाराष्ट्र में तो ऑक्सीजन पहुंचा था ना वहाँ पे नाशिक के हॉस्पिटल में अगर वो ऑक्सीजन पहुंचने के बाद अगर वहाँ पे इतनी बड़ी चूक और लापरवाही होती है तो उसके लिए भी नरेंद्र मोदी जिम्मेदार है क्या नरेंद्र मोदी के खिलाफ लड़ाई लड़ना जरूरी है या कोविड के खिलाफ अब मैं आम आदमी पार्टी के प्रवक्ता ने कुछ सवाल उठाए उन्होंने कहा पांच दिन पहले उन्होंने केंद्र सरकार को लिखा कि हमें सात मेट्रिक टन चाहिए क्योंकि बढ़त बढ़ चुकी है तीन दिन पहले का बयान है केजरीवाल जी का संडे का जो उन्होंने अपने एक प्रिय चैनल को दिया था वी आर गुड टू गो ऑन ऑक्सीजन चलिए वो बयान तो मैंने पिछले बार भी सुना दिया था अब मैं आपको एक और बात बताता हूं सत्येंद्र जैन और आम आदमी पार्टी का 2015 का मैनिफेस्टो हम 40,000 बेड तैयार करेंगे और हम तीन हॉस्पिटल बनाएंगे दो का मैनिफेस्टो ये हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स में छपा है मैं आपको दिखा रहा हूं कितने हॉस्पिटल बेड बनाए आपने अभी तक कितने आपने हॉस्पिटल तैयार किए आरटीआई का जवाब आया दो हजार उन्नीस में जीरो हॉस्पिटल जिन्होंने बनाए हैं हॉस्पिटल बेड कितने तैयार किए हैं सात दिन पहले मुख्यमंत्री कह रहे थे लॉकडाउन की कोई आवश्यकता नहीं हम केवल कब लगाएंगे आज लॉकडाउन लगा दिया चार दिन पहले सत्येंद्र जैन कह रहे थे तेरह हजार बेड है कल दो दिन पहले केजरीवाल जी कह रहे दस हजार बेड हो गए तो आप लोगों ने कितनी जिम्मेदारी निभाई राज्य सरकार के होने के नाते सवाल ये भी पैदा होता है कि इनकी हिपोक्रेसी की सीमा नहीं अब ये देखिए कांग्रेस पार्टी के भी एक घोषित प्रवक्ता बैठे हैं मैं इनसे पूछना चाहता हूं जब वैक्सीन आ रहा था तब भारत बायोटेक वैक्सीन का विरोध किया उन्होंने कहा इसकी एफिकेसी 
पार्टी पर सवाल उठाए आज वही लोग वैक्सीन मांग रहे कह रहे वैक्सीन हमें ज्यादा दे दो जब वैक्सीन बढ़ाकर भी स्टेट को परमिशन दे दी कि आप वैक्सीन खुद से ले लो मैन्युफैक्चर से तो आप बोलते वैक्सीन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के नाम पर आपने वैक्सीन डिस्क्रिमिनेशन कर लिया जब पहले कह रहे थे भेदभाव हो रहा है स्टेट के साथ तो भेदभाव हटाने के लिए आपको सभी को परमिशन दे दी कि आप अपने अपने जनसंख्या को एटीन प्लस को जैसे वैक्सीन देना चाहते हैं दे दीजिए तो उसमें भी आप क्रिटिसाइज करते हैं तो लगता है केवल और केवल इनकी राजनीति इतनी है कि कोरोना नहीं मोदी के खिलाफ लड़ना और मैं इनसे पूछना चाहता हूं अगर कोरोना की इतनी चिंता है आपको अगर इतना ही ऑक्सीजन की चिंता है तो आपके चैनल पर नाविका कुमार ट्रक ड्राइवर ने बोला है दो दिन पहले उसको कैसे उसके ऑक्सीजन के ट्रक को रोका गया था वो ऑक्सीजन हॉस्पिटल ले जा रहा था ये किसानों के नाम पर इन लोगों ने उसको रोका वो बाइक चला के दिखाई मैंने देखा है टाइम्स नाउ पर इसका जवाब कौन देगा क्या राहुल गांधी आम आदमी पार्टी देंगे जो समर्थन करते हैं किसान नेताओं का इन किसान आंदोलनों का पंजाब की वोट के लिए आपने तहसीन पूना वाला तहसीन पूना वाला आई वॉन्ट टू रेज दिस इशू आई वॉन्ट टू रेज दिस इशू एंड आई वॉन्ट टू पुट सम फैक्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ माई व्यूअर्स टू नाइट एंड दिस इज माई फैक्ट चेक the center has doubled export of oxygen even in a pandemic year is the opposition's charge apne charge lagaya ki oxygen export ho raha hai the center has responded industrial oxygen exports have been given not medical oxygen there is a difference between the two par shayad congress ko difference nahi pata opposition said in 2019 20 uh, the export was uh, 4500 metric tons in 2021 it went up to 9300 metric tons the center has given you the new numbers it says april to february of 2021 india exported only 12 metric tons of मेडिकल ऑक्सीजन बारह बारह नॉट नॉट द काइंड ऑफ नाइन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड दैट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट विच वॉज इंडस्ट्रियल ऑक्सीजन नाउ ऑपोजिशन सेज इट्स नॉट अ लैक ऑफ प्रोडक्शन बट शॉर्टेज इज ड्यू टू एक्सेसिव एक्सपोर्ट वेल एनुअल एक्सपोर्ट्स आर लेस देन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल एनुअल प्रोडक्शन मिस्टर तहसीन पुनावाला समटाइम्स फैक्ट्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो नॉट जस्ट ट्वीट विदाउट हैविंग फैक्ट्स enough oxygen uh, uh, produced government has failed to create supply logistics is the opposition's charge the center has said rail green corridors uh, for uninterrupted movement of oxygen have been uh, made opposition has also charged that uh, why industrial oxygen has not been diverted for medical use uh, center said majority of industrial oxygen was exported in december and january medical oxygen consumption at that time was uh, very very low less than 1500 metric tons a day so tehsin puna wala we can also say ke aapki sarkar thi 2004 to 2014 aapne kyun nahi oxygen plants banaye are bhaiya jab export ho raha tha tab yahan pe demand nahi thi storage ki bhi limit hoti hai how much you can store and the export raga that you are doing is actually export of industrial oxygen not medical oxygen and medical oxygen only 12 tons have been exported so that lays to rest mr rahul gandhi's big uh, allegation against the modi government but let me ask you tehsin punawala in nasik oxygen supplies were given ab usko to tank mein dalna tha वो भी मोदी जी आके करेंगे कि उद्धव जी अशोक चवन जी पृथ्वीराज चवन जी और और जितने कांग्रेस और शिवसेना और एनसीपी के नेता है वो भी कुछ करेंगे मैम दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिबेट एन एटी ऑन सेट आई वॉन्ट ऑफर माई कंडोलेंस टू एवरीबडी एंड नीड योर कंडोलेंसेज दे वॉन्ट रिस्पॉन्स इन द मैनर दैट दे एक्सपेक्ट दैट इज वाई दे वोट यू यू वॉन्ट टू फॉर्म गवर्नमेंट फॉर पावर यू आर सपोज टू फॉर्म गवर्नमेंट फॉर सर्विंग द पीपल तहसीन पूनावाला दैट्स द डिफरेंस पॉलिटिशियंस डोंट अंडरस्टैंड All right. If I may be allowed to speak. They don't need your condolences. A mother of a 23-year-old right. has said, "I don't need compensation." If I may be allowed to speak, I wish you raised your voice and spoke so loudly to Narendra Modi and Amit Shah, who are running this country. But it's okay. You're speaking to me that loudly, and with humility, I accept it. But please allow me to speak and don't interrupt me, ma'am. I'll be very brief, ma'am. This entire day, since morning, 
my wife and I have been trying to arrange oxygen. And this is the fact, ma'am. There is no oxygen in Delhi, okay? There have been many colleagues of yours from your from the media, from Times who have called me, and we've been arranging oxygen. We arranged oxygen for hospitals. Now, you can blame Mr. Modi, you can blame Rahul Gandhi, you can blame Arvind Kejriwal, or you can go ahead and blame Jawaharlal Nehru for it. The fact of the matter is this. This country is under the Epidemic Act, and one man has taken over the health, health services of the state country. The fact also remains that India has more oxygen. It doesn't have logistics to, to, to procure oxygen. It doesn't require the director of a hospital to call up a Tessin or call, it, call up a Monica Vadera and say, please help me to refill oxygen because we haven't got oxygen. And let's put the facts across. It is being controlled and it is being stopped in Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. And this matter is what the high courts have accepted. There's a, their trucks were diverted. Ma'am, People are dying. You may shout at me. That's your right. You're the anchor of the show. But sometimes, just ask this one question, that the security of this country is in the hands of Mr. Narendra Modi and Amit Shah Ji. Why are they not responding? They haven't. Delhi is a disaster. And you may call me names, but we are failing in Delhi. And if we are not going to save lives, ma'am, it's not a Tehsin, it's not a Srinivasan, it's not a Charu Pragya who's going to save lives. It is the government of India that has to respond. Well, I have breaking news coming it in. Breaking news coming in from the Delhi High Court where Solicitor General Tushar Mehta is appearing for the centre. Uh, Tushar Mehta has told the court, I share the concern of the court and purpose of joining is to apprise you of certain facts. Uh, Secretary of of the Industries Department, uh, uh, Mr. Mahapatra, is in ICU at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. Remember, he was summoned by the High Court and this is the explanation uh, has uh, 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 been given by the Solicitor General. He says, the officers assisting you so far were not entirely aware of the procurement procedures and uh, status. I have instructions from the very top to assure you that all steps are being taken for procurement of oxygen. Uh, this is what Solicitor General Tushar Mehta has informed uh, the High Court uh, just just uh, a couple of minutes ago. Now that that really is the situation, Riju Datta. Riju Datta, what are we seeing? You know, I everybody tells me that you know this state is talking to that state. We are putting out tweets. We are informing the public. But the fact of the matter is that sometimes a split second of non-availability of oxygen can be the difference between life and death. And it is not something that you can reverse. There will not be another election uh, in which, uh, you know, people can express something. A life once lost is lost. A mother who's lost a 23-year-old son in front of her eyes while he's gasping for breath has lost him forever. And think of it from the point of view of a mother a mother, a father, a brother losing his sister, you know, somebody losing their parents, somebody losing their children, somebody losing their uh, uh, siblings. You know, it's final. There is no reverse that can be done in this. No amount of politics, bickering, blame game can do that. So, Riju Datta, why can't we have a situation where we stop criticizing each other? All the time. Pehle aapko vaccine pasand nahi tha. Ab vaccine chahiye to free chahiye. Same price pe chahiye. You know, that is the kind. Why will states not take the responsibility of standing shoulder to shoulder with the center to make the vaccine uh, uh, liberalized process a success to save people in India? Doctors, hospitals, why will they not stand together to save Indians? Ma'am, uh, you know... Before I start the debate, after your intro, your narrative now, I started missing our late Bharat Ratna Atal Vyari Bajpai Ji who says that to run this country properly, you need consensus, not conquest. Where, when for seven years, all you have done, done is trampled the federal rights of all the states. Now you are asking for help. The states are there to help you. No issues. Even in the debate, Navika Ji, if 22 people have lost their lives due to criminal negligence, and if on that accord, the CM of Maharashtra should... Resign, what do you mean by states are there to help you? You won't even take... You don't even take the central schemes and give it to the people of West Bengal. What are you saying about Navika, cooperative Navika, federalism? Riju Dutta, it all Navika, sounds very well Navika, in a lecture. No, 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 in a Navika, lecture, it's very good. But you don't give farmers. You don't give farmers. 
क्या हेल्प है क्या कोऑपरेशन है थोड़ा बोलने दीजिए ना नवी सर अगर 22 जन की मौत से महाराष्ट्र का चीफ मिनिस्टर रिजाइन करना करना चाहिए अगर दिल्ली का हालत की वजह से अरविंद केजरीवाल को रोज ब्राउबीट किया जा रहा है और उसको रिजाइन करना चाहिए तो हजारों हजारों की मौत के लिए किसको रिजाइन करना चाहिए प्रधानमंत्री जी को रिजाइन करना चाहिए कल उन्होंने आया बीस मिनट का भाषण दिया एंड आई विल ओनली टॉक अबाउट माई प्राइम मिनिस्टर बिकॉज हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर पीपल वोटेड फॉर इट उन्होंने भाषण दिया उन्होंने कल बोला कि हमने क्या क्या काम किया उन्होंने एक बार भी बोला कि क्या क्या होने वाला है उन्होंने बोला आत्मनिर्भर हो जाओ खुद का हेल्प खुद करो और लास्ट में तो उन्होंने सात साल के बच्चों का भी बहुत मदद मांग लिया अरे साहब उनके माँ बाप मर रहे हैं आप बच्चों को तो कम से कम बंक दीजिए आई विल टेल यू नारी सी वेरी कैटेगोरिकली आई हैव हर्ड वेन यू टॉक रिस्पॉन्ड डॉक्टर पात्रा रिस्पॉन्ड डॉक्टर पात्रा रिस्पॉन्ड डॉक्टर पात्रा टू रिजू दत्ता that is the point that all of them what what in commonality they are saying is that all the chief ministers are hell bent to cooperate and they in fact are falling flat to cooperate let me tell you the truth my friend riju datta imagine for 3 months the prime minister has been holding the review meetings of covid and for 3 months mamata benerji did not attend a single review meeting of covid saying that she is busy with not a single no, 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 second because you are going on a meeting when you are speaking navi sir this is not no, no, sir because not a single no, meeting no, no, let mama sir no, 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 attend no, 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 no. and look at the meeting please pull up that the mantra we do a counter counter and you ask the question i heard them all please please nana i heard them all i don't want to shout over anyone And please pull out that visual of Arvind Kejriwal attending the last COVID meeting. Yes, again, uh, this way he was attending. Again, Arvind Kejriwal. This was his posture. Ah, oh, oh, oh. 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 This was the way Mr. Kejriwal was attending the meeting of Prime Minister. I mean, that was a serious thing, and that was the way he wanted to cooperate with the Prime Minister. Sorry, madam. No, can you no, answer me? Sir, why are you asking this government for me? Jasmine Shah. Jasmine Shah. You know, Mamta Banerjee. Mamta. Shamit Patra says Mamta Banerjee doesn't attend the meetings of the Prime Minister with Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Comes in and is very bored. Respond, respond to what Dr. Patra says. Navika, there is absolutely nothing to respond to what Dr. Patra has said. It is beyond below my dignity. Today, the country and Delhi is facing a crisis. We need answers. Mr. Patra, your government, please don't, please, please don't interrupt me. I do not. लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन Ladies and gentlemen I just want to put out the numbers before you today Bengal numbers are 10000 plus covid positive cases today Maharashtra is about 68000 plus uh, covid positive cases Delhi another 30 or 1000 cases 33000 being reported uh, from Uttar Pradesh which many critics and cynics do not believe is the right number but what are we hearing 24 lives lost because of oxygen leakage in nashik and what are we seeing in front of us what are we seeing in front of us any assurance on oxygen supplies no oxygen wars covid wars will all continue you and i as citizens will continue to pay the price possibly sometimes with our lives we as citizens have to rise and demand our rights because every time whether it's a state government or the central government it is just passing the buck that keeps happening and in the interim courts have to step in to begin to start distributing oxygen to hospitals i don't know if this is not something that opens every citizens and every political party's eyes then what will we as citizens demand better governance not just from state governments we don't want bickerings not just from political parties ruling in various parts of country but also from the center 
if the center failed to anticipate it so did state governments failed to anticipate the demand of oxygen but who's going to get us out of this mess is the question this country wants an answer to and soon before any more lives are lost because of this thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching this debate short break debate number 2 and another mockery of the covid protocols on the other side